ever heard about voice over IP? Do you want to know what voice over IP is and how to test them for vulnerabilities? Today, we are diving into VoIP Hopper. It's a powerful tool that allows you to explore and secure VoIP networks like a pro. Stay tuned as we guide you through every step from setup to execution, ensuring you can confidently use this to enhance your cybersecurity skill. And remember, this video is for educational purposes only, so let's get started. And welcome to the Ultra Blue channel, your go to source for in depth tech tutorials. If you ever found our content valuable, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. It really helps the channel to grow and allow us to keep delivering top notch content for tech enthusiasts like you. Voice Hopper is a specialized security tool used to test voice over IP networks for vulnerabilities. It emulates a VoIP client, performing attacks that help you to identify security weaknesses within your network or VLAN, that's your virtual local area network architecture. So, VoIP Hopper is particularly useful for network administrators, ethical hackers, and anyone interested in web security. Now let's start by setting up VoIP Hopper on Kali Linux. This tool is often pre-installed on Kali Linux, but if not, you can install it with a few commands. Let's go ahead and demonstrate how you could install it. So first of all, you'd have to always update your system and I hope if you're watching this video, you already know how to update your system. Pseudo apt update. But to install um, VoIP Hopper, simply type in sudo apt install and then you type in wipe hopper and then you hit enter now i already have wipe hopper installed somewhere here i already have it pre-installed right here so therefore i'm not going to go ahead and run this command again so i'm going to go ahead and clear this command so once installed you can launch VoIP Hopper. I don't know why I keep calling it VoIP Hopper. It's well, VoIP Hopper. So to launch it, simply type in VoIP Hopper and then you hit enter. Now it's going to go ahead and show you available options and command you could use for this kind of tool. For beginners, understanding the command line tool can be daunting. However, VoIPOPS simplicity makes it relatively easy to use. The interface provides clear options for different types of attacks, such as um, such as CDP sniff mode, such as LLB um, spoof mode, and etc. So now let's perform a basic VLAN hopping test. It's a common method used by attackers to gain unauthorized access to other VLAN um, within a VoIP network. To initiate this attack, use the following command. So let me go ahead and clear this. Now that we have our terminal cleared, if you wanted to run VoIP Hopper against your network to identify if there are any vulnerable devices available, you simply call VoIP Hopper. And then you specify that you want it to test your network. So 192. So if you hit enter, now when Hopper goes around to scan for services, and after scanning, it's found out that um, we are running an SIP services, and for each services, it goes around to search for open ports. And once they check for open port, it goes around to do vulnerability analysis to see if those ports are vulnerable. And as you can see, we have um, a possible vulnerability here, which and it goes ahead to let us know that it has weak authentication. We also have another possible vulnerability here for port 5060, and it tells us that we are using default credentials. So someone could just quickly do a Google search, 
find out the default credentials for the service and then log it in, log into our system. Now the third one, too, it went ahead and checked and said that we had a misconfigured ACL services. So this is what it does. It has gone around. It also provides us the IP addresses of um, the available devices and it has listed the number of vulnerabilities it found for each it found one vulnerability now it goes again to recommend some of the things we could do for each specific device so the first one it says that we should consider enforcing strong authentication mechanism because it told us that we had weak authentication here now secondly the second one was default credentials and it comes in to recommend that we should change our default credentials and enhance security policies the third vulnerability was misconfigured ACL. Now I think it tells us that we should review and restrict ACL configuration secure access. And the last two that it did all this can in five minutes. So that is the beauty of voice hopper. So understanding this output is very crucial because it is straightforward and it provides you with everything you need as a security as security personnel if vulnerabilities are found it is important to take actions immediately to mitigate all these things and that's how you use voip offer to test for vulnerabilities in a voip network however you should take note that the output here might vary depending on the type of services you are running and also the version of voip hopper as always, this tutorial is for educational purposes only. Our goal is to help you protect your network and not to exploit them. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, please subscribe to the Ultra Blue channel and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest tech tutorials. Leave a comment below if you have any question or topic you'd like us to cover next. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.